Hello, this video is going to cover using the FSE Flight Planner to find large jobs. When you first open the FSE County Flight Planner, it's going to remember your last state. I had it as blank. I have a bunch of queries saved. We'll cover that in a minute. And it will also open Google Earth behind it. It takes a minute to open, so just be patient. The first thing we need to do is figure out where do we want to fly from. So let's go to FS Economy. Look at our aircraft. I'm going to use the Q400. It's a big plane. Big planes, big jobs. It's located at RCQS. So let's go back to our query tool. We're going to type in RCQS. And as soon as you get the last letter of a valid airport, up pops a bunch of options. I am not going to cover all the options right now because we're focusing on how to find large jobs. So the first thing we do is check this box. There are multiple options here. We have jobs departing, jobs arriving, jobs traveling within whatever nautical miles of any spe some specific airport. We're going to use departing. We're going to search a large area around RCQS for, for big jobs. I'm going to say 500 nautical miles. We want all jobs. You can do cargo, passengers, or all. We don't want to worry about jobs expiring. We want jobs that pay more than a large amount, like $15,000. Tab to go to the next one. Now I'm going to remove airstrips because you don't usually have large jobs there. I'm going to remove water bases. I'm going to leave local fuel supply unchecked this time because you can find more jobs. That just means you have to pay attention to your fuel load when you start and land and make sure you have enough to get to your next location. If you check the box, it will only find airports that have fuel at them. So we're going to add the query. We click Google Current, and it's going to jump into Google Earth and show us physically the routes for large jobs in the area. Great, so it looks like there are three jobs within 500 nautical miles of RCQS that paid more than 15 grand. Okay, that's what Google Earth shows us. If we go back to our query tool, and it's going to have jumped to the query results tab. And these are the three jobs and how much they pay. You can sort on these by pay, by kilograms, by how long they expire, anything you want. All right. Let's say we pick the largest paying jobs. This, and it, when you, if you click on it, it's going to go back to Google Earth and highlight the route again. Or, because we're at RCQS, what if we take the closest job? So we're going to take the closest job, which is going to be, I think it's that one. Yep, that's Z28U, because we're on Taiwan. That's where our CQS is located. And it goes to our PVA. So it's, we're going to select that job. So to add this job to our tool, to our flights, you just highlight it. Click Add to My Flight in progress. Now if we go back into our query tool, go to My Flight and refresh it. Any job you have selected, the routes are going to turn red. So you know that's a job that you've added to your queue. All right, now that we've done that, how do we get from our starting airport to Z28U and hope to make money all the way? Well, let's go back to our query tool, go to queries, and we're going to create two queries here. The first thing is going to be we want all jobs departing from our starting airport, so set this to zero, and pay more than $1. That's going to find every job leaving RCQS. Update that query. And then our location we want to get to is Z28U. So put in Z28U. Change this to jobs arriving because that's where we're trying to go. Add the query. And now if we Google all, it's going to show the jobs leaving from our starting spot. and the jobs that are arriving at Z28U. So what you want to try and find is any of these that have a link. And right now, I don't see one. And we can get close, but we can't actually get there. So what I would suggest in this case, the one that pays the most is going to RCMQ headed towards Z28U. So we're going to go ahead and select the RCQS to RCMQ jobs. 
do, do, do. We want RCQS to, where was I, what did I say? To RCMQ. So we want to select, uh, whoa, whoa, let me go back to that. If you hold down the control button, oh, it's not letting me do it without jumping to this. It's going to drive me crazy. Let's see if I can do a shift. All right, yeah, it's just jumping all the highlighted. It's showing them all. It keeps jumping to Google Earth. Let me go back to my query page. We have all the ones going from RCQS to RCMQ highlighted. We're going to add those all to our assignments. Oh, there's one more. Shoot. Let's try this again. Now we add those to our assignments. Go back to the My Flight page and update it. And now we're going, we've got RCQS to RCMQ. We know there are not, no jobs going between RCMQ and Z28U. So at this point, I would just fly a deadhead leg from RCMQ to Z28U to get to your big job. And from there, just fly your big job. And that's it. That's how you, that's the that's the best way to find big jobs and try to find routes getting to the airport where the big job is. Now, something handy here. Let's go back to our queries page. Remember, I said I can save these. Well, so I want to so I want to save this so like anytime I want to find jobs departing from and going to or jobs departing from and arriving at an airport, I can go to File, Save As. And give it a name. Departure and arrival. Save. So from here, now you see that this drop down, this current plan drop down box changed. Anytime I want to use it, so I go back to blank. Notice, sorry, these are previously saved queries I have. Like I did one that does $25,000 $25, jobs over 2,500 miles away. Or I can go back to my departure and arrival that I just created. And bam, there's the query saved. So anytime you create queries that, want to, queries that you want to reuse, save them. So all you have to do is open the drop down, pick it, change your starting airport to do, say Z28U this time. And it's, it's got everything saved that you already hit before. Update it and run it. And now you can find big jobs in an area. If you, the cool thing that I like about this is all you have to do to adjust your search areas is make this number bigger or smaller. That's it. So change the number, update query, run it. Click Google Current and it'll find the jobs for you. That's it for finding large jobs. Hope this helps.